What up, class? This up? is our reflection video. We hope you enjoy it. Yep. Alex and I are here to answer some questions and just talk it up. Yeah. All right. Some coffee or something. <laughs> Dude. All right. Um, so, Emron, um, how is mentoring Latino or Latina elementary students as a SESA scholar mm -hmm. through uh, service learning pushed you into them to critically think about your ethnic, racial, or cultural identities? Well, um, serving at Calvary has caused me to think critically about my ethnic background, mainly because after seeing the large amount of diversity in the classroom and the church, it brings me back to my roots as an Afghan. I think about the fact that students at Calvary, as diverse as they are, also have someone that's diverse like me to count on and look up to and tutor mm -hmm. and encourage them that college isn't, it's, it's not out of reach, you mm -hmm. know, it's there for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so, they, you know, they, the cultural identity stands out in language the students use, I mean, and like it represents who they are and where they came from, like it represents yeah. their roots. Yeah. And so I find that, you know, that in the past, you know, who they really are and with racial identity, I see that at Calvary students aren't trying to be anything. They all just, they have color blindness. They all just see each other as one. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily see each other as different. Yeah. Which I applaud and I, I wish that, you know, society could accept that and yeah. just be like that too. Yeah, see, I kind of see that at my learning site too, Jackson. Oh, yeah? Um, uh, do, you, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I have one. I have one actually. Uh, so, uh, um, Alex. Have you seen in any way the students you will mentor connect their college success to a larger sense of purpose or belonging? And if so, which one of the experiences relates to your service learning experience the most? Well, um, I believe that uh, when they become successful in college, what we've done as mentors will hopefully carry over and push them to uh, represent their diversity in a positive oh. way, not let their uh, traditions be forgotten. and. Um, basically have them fight to end things such as like microaggressions, you know, a lot of the stuff that we've learned, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, All the concepts. Yes. Uh, I mean, finding their true identity. Um, a lot of this stuff is just like, it predominates in our culture and society today, and some of it is just destructive while others can be uh, used and uh, to, you know, better them as a, as a group. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, uh, I think through education, uh, them, we, they can also continue to educate the public on a, you know what our uh, program's trying to do and everything. Um, I personally can relate because uh, I can only hope that uh, as I've uh, represented my diversity here at the U, that these students, when they go to college, they will uh, as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, so forget where they're from. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks.